sort does exactly what it says on the tin. It allows us to sort our data by one or more columns. And you're probably familiar with sort because we've had the sort option available in Excel for many, many years. But the sort function exists on the data tab in the sort and filter group, or we can right click in our data and we have sort options just here. So sort A to Z, sort Z to A. But now we also have sort available as a dynamic array function. And that means that we aren't limited to just sorting our data in place. We can output our sort results to any cell in the spreadsheet. It also means we can combine sort with other formulas to make it a little bit more powerful. So let's take a look at how sort works. Now in the first example, we're just going to do something really simple. Notice we have a table here that lists out some athletes, the country those athletes are from, their bib number and the medal they achieved. So what I'm going to do over here is we're going to type in equals sort. Now notice we have four arguments, but three of those are optional. Only the first argument, the array argument is mandatory. So in this first example, we're just going to select the array that we want to sort. Now I want to sort all of these records and all of the columns. So let's select everything in there. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to close the bracket and hit enter and it's going to sort those results. Now it's worth noting if you don't specify any other arguments, it's going to sort by the first column and it's going to sort A to Z. So you can see here it's sorted by the athlete column, Austin is first and Willie is last. Now it might be that that sort order is perfectly fine for you. But what about if we want to be a bit more specific about which columns we want to sort by and also which way we want to sort, either ascending or descending? Well, let's do it again. I want to sort by the country column this time in descending order. So let's type in equals sort. So our array is the same thing. We're going to select all of the records, comma. It's now asking for a sort index. Now, whenever you see index in an argument, it requires you to enter one, two, three, four. So all we need to do here is specify which column in the table above we want to sort by. And if I want to sort by the country column, that is column number two. So that is our sort index, comma. Now we get to define our sort order, ascending or descending. Now in this example, we want to sort in descending order, so we need a minus one in there. Now I could close off the bracket and that would be fine, but let's press comma just to see that last argument. This is where we get to specify if we want to sort by column or by row. Well, our records are in our rows, so we want to sort by row. I'm going to type a false in there, close the bracket, hit enter, and there are our results. So now you can see that we're sorting by country in descending order. So that is Z to A. So we have USA at the top going all the way down to Australia at the bottom. So really nice and straightforward. Now let's do something a little bit more complex in our last example. Maybe I want to sort by two columns. So you can see here, I want to sort by country in ascending order and then the bib number in descending order. So how do we do this? Well, this is actually pretty clever. Let's type in sort. Our array is exactly the same thing. We're going to select all of our records sort index. So this is where we choose the columns that we want to sort by. Now, if we have more than one column that we want to sort by, which we do in this case, we need to open a curly bracket. And then we can specify within inside that bracket the columns we want to sort by. So I want to sort by the country column, which is column number two, and then by the bib number column, which is column number three and then we can close our curly bracket, comma, sort order. Now, because we're sorting by two columns and we want the country column to be in ascending and the bib number to be in descending, again, we need to open a curly bracket. And now I get to specify the order for the country column. So that's ascending, which is one. And then we want to sort by descending for the bib column. So then we want a minus one close the curly bracket, comma. We're sorting by row, so we can add a false on there, close off our sort and hit enter and check it out. 
So we're sorting by country in ascending order. So that's A to Z. So we have Australia at the top, all the way down to the USA at the bottom. And then within this, we're then sorting by the bib number in descending order, so largest to smallest. So if we take a look at Canada, for example, where we have two entries, we should find that the bib numbers go in largest to smallest order, which they do. And if we check that down here, because we've got quite a few for the USA, you can see the bib numbers are running in descending order from largest to smallest. So those are a few options you have when you're using the sort dynamic array function. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how we can use the sort function to do a horizontal sort, because every sort we've been doing so far has been vertical. We've been sorting by the row. So this time we're going to practice sorting by column and the way that we're doing this is more like in the form of an exercise because we have a problem that we need to solve. And you can see underneath I've listed out the steps because there are a few different things we're going to do here to get to our end result. Now what we're trying to extract from this table of data is which actors have been in the same movie together more than once. And you can see that we have various different movies listed down in column A. And then for each movie, let's take this first example of La La Land, we have the four main actors who are in that movie. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these headings for the actors, control C, and I'm just going to paste these over here. And let's drag that in a little bit. Now, if we were to just look at our data here, it's really, really difficult to tell which actors have been in the same movie together more than once. So we're going to do a little bit of sorting and we're going to use a couple of other functions as well, such as text join. So this is a nice little introduction to a new function. Now in the steps below, it says sort the data horizontally in ascending order. So let's do that first of all. Now, when we're sorting this time, instead of sorting by the column, we actually want to sort by the row. So over here, I want to have the actors listed out for each movie, but I want these sorted in ascending order, so alphabetically. So for La La Land, I would expect Emma Stone to appear first when we run our sort. So let's go over here. I'm going to type in sort. Now our array this time is just going to be this first row of names comma, sort index. Now sort index relates to when we're sorting by column, we need to provide the column we want to return one, two, three, four. Now we're not sorting by the column in this example. So we're going to press comma just to skip over that argument. Now we can specify if we want to sort in ascending or descending. Now I want to sort in ascending order. So we want a one in there, comma. And now we get to define if we're sorting by column or by row. So in this case, we're sorting by column. So we want a true in there. Let's close the bracket, hit enter and check out what we get. So now we have the actors for La La Land listed in alphabetical order. So I can simply drag this down and apply that formula to the rest of the rows. So this is looking slightly more organized, but it's still a bit difficult for me to see which actors have been in the same movie together more than once. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to join the text in each row together. So effectively for the first one here, I want one cell that just lists out all of the actors names. And I don't need to separate them with commas or anything. I just want them all in one cell. So to do that, we're going to use the text join function. So if we go back up to our formula, we're just going to add text join on the front just here. Now, the first argument of text join is the delimiter that we want to use to join these names together. So often you'll put something in there like a comma space or a space or a dash or something like that. Now, in this example, I don't want anything separating the names. So we're just going to press comma to skip to the next argument. Do we want to ignore empty cells? Well, we don't have any empty cells in our data set, but it doesn't hurt to have true in there. So let's just put that in comma. Now it's asking for our text. Now the sort function is generating our text. So all we need to do is click at the end here and close off our formula. Let's hit enter and see what we get. Now, if I double click, you'll now see that for this first one, all of those names have been smushed together in one cell. So I'm going to copy this down like that. And we now have everybody in one big long list. 
Now the next step here is to sort the data A to Z. Now we're going to use the regular sort to do this. But the thing I'm going to do first is remove the formulas from underneath all of these actors' names. So we're going to select the cell range, Control c to copy, and then we can use the new keyboard shortcut in Excel 365, Control shift v And what that will do is it will paste values only. So now if we click in any of these cells, if you look in the formula bar, there's no formula there. It's thrown away the formula and it's just kept the text. So now we can select all of these, go to the data tab, and I'm going to sort them A to Z. Now it's saying expand the selection because it's recognizing that I have actor 2, actor 3, actor 4. Now I want to continue with the current selection. Let's click on sort and it's now sorted all of those records. Now again, this is getting a little bit easier to see, but to make it super obvious, we're just going to highlight where we have exact duplicates. So we're going to select everything in here. We're going to go to the home tab conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and we're going to say duplicate values. And there we go. So now I can see that James Franco, Jonah Hill, Michael Cara, and Seth Rogen have been in the same movie together more than once, and the same for Kate Winslet, Miles Teller, Shailene Woodley, and Theo James. So that is how you can use sort to do a horizontal sort. And we really expanded on that in this lesson by throwing in their text join and a couple of other techniques we can use to effectively solve a problem. And this is what you'll find as you develop Excel advanced skills. A lot of the time it's not knowing the formulas specifically, but knowing which formulas to use in order to solve a problem. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.